I am Anil Kumar sharing with you some excellent questions from the previous test papers. The whole idea is for you to get prepared for your own test. Now we are actually doing very simple topic which students think is very simple exponential functions and it is just the first part where we need to simplify the exponents but in the test sometimes we have really complicated questions. Look at question number two. We have done part A in one of the videos and in this video we will do part B of this test paper. Question number two, part B. You can actually pause the video, copy the question, do it yourself and then look into my suggestion. The question here is evaluate using exponential laws, rewriting answers with positive exponents. The question here is 2401 to the power of 2k plus n cube root of 7 to the power of 12n minus 9k 343 to the power of 2k minus 5n square root of 7 to the power of 8n minus 2k. Now from the question there is one indication that is these numbers should be related with powers of 7. So we can take our calculator and figure out what power of 7 is 2401 and what power of 7 is 343. That will actually help us to simplify the given expression. So, so let's try 7 to the power of 3 for example is how much? 343. So we got the first one. So we know 7 to the power of 3 is 343. Okay. Let's see what is times 7. So that is 7 to the power of 4 which is 2401. So 7 to the power of 4 is 2401. Now we will that really helps us right. So now we are going to write these expressions as powers of 7. So we can write 2401 as 7 to the power of 4 and we already have here 2k plus n. So we'll put that in brackets 2k plus n. Correct? In the numerator, the next term we have is 7 to the power of 1 over 3 of whatever, right? So it is 1 over 3 of 12n minus 9k. Do you see? That is how you can write and simplify your expression. 343 is 7 to the power of 3. So I'll write this as 7 to the power of 3 times 2k minus 5n. And the next term is 7 to the power of since this is square root, that means half, right? 8n minus 2k, correct? Now, we can actually open these brackets and combine the terms. So what I will do is, I will do it in two steps. In the first step, I will just open the brackets. So we have 7 to the power of 8k plus 4n times 7 to the power of one third of these values. So one third of 12 is 4, 4n minus 3k divided by 7 to the power of 3 times, right? 6k minus 15n and 7 half of these values which is 4n minus k. Now we can actually apply our rules or laws of exponent. So when you are multiplying they get added up. So it is 8k plus 4n plus 4n minus 3k. They all get added up and these get subtracted, the ones in the denominator. So we'll write them with negative signs. Minus 6k plus 15n and minus 4n plus k, right? You have to reverse both signs as I did. And now you can just combine k's and n's. So k we have how many? 8 minus 3 is 5. 5 minus 6 will give you minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 gives me 0 k so 0 k so no k is okay uh, let me write 0 k here for the time being we'll check n 4 plus 4 is 8 and then 4 take away leaves it with 4 and then add 15 so it is 19 so we have 19 n so in a way we get 7 to the power of 19 n as our answer for this particular question correct you can always go back and check all these numbers but more important is the method to be followed 
So as you saw here, if there are numbers, write, try to write those numbers in the form of the given base so that you have common base to apply the formula in such a case, right? I think that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.